part of the mystery of the bombs in New York City now answered. Police captured Ahmed Khan Rahami after an exchange of gunfire not far from his Elizabeth, New Jersey home, about 20 kilometers from where police suspect he planted a bomb in New York Saturday night that injured 29 people. The 28-year-old naturalized U.S. citizen from an Afghan family had been a criminal justice student before dropping out. A few hours earlier, the FBI raided his house in his neighborhood after police using a robot detonated a bomb found nearby. The FBI said they have evidence directly linking Rahami to similar bombs found elsewhere in New Jersey on Saturday, as well as another one in New York City Saturday night that failed to go off. The FBI, while saying the investigation is ongoing, cautioned there is no known terror cell operating in the city, which is already at heightened security as hundreds of world leaders are in town attending the UN General Assembly this week. The city's mayor, Bill de Blasio, nevertheless said the bombs were meant to cause serious damage and fatalities. Based on the information we have now, we have every reason to believe this was an act of terror. The attacks have raised the importance of national security on the campaign trail. Hillary Clinton seeking to reassure Americans. This threat is real, but so is our resolve. Americans will not cower, we will prevail. We will defend our country and we will defeat the evil, twisted ideology of the terrorists. But her opponent, Donald Trump, used the fact Rahami was born overseas to criticize U.S. immigration policy. Immigration security is national security. My opponent has the most open borders policy of anyone ever to seek the presidency. It was ultimately surveillance video captured here on 23rd Street in the Chelsea neighborhood where the bomb went off that led investigators to identify Rahami as the main suspect. Now that he's in custody, the investigation takes a new turn. First, the FBI wants to know his motivations and also if he had any help along the way. Only after those questions are answered will the true scale of the crime really be known. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera, New York.